Today, the brand new Titan Fitness stackable plyo boxes arrived. It only took a couple of days for them to get here and they arrived in really good condition. These plyo boxes are a new item on Titan Fitness's webpage. And as you can see, they're very nicely packaged. It doesn't look like they sustained any damage during shipping. The corners are protected with these inserts. And then on the bottom, there's another insert to further protect the plyo box. Here's what they look like outside of the box. They're in very good condition. I knew this day would eventually come. I just didn't think it would be this soon. But after two years, I'm retiring those cinder blocks over there, soon to be buried underneath the house in the crawl space, and upgrading to these brand new plyo boxes from Titan Fitness. They are stackable and they are heavy duty. Here is how I standardize my belt squat so that it's the same from session to session. I put a 35 pound plate in between the plyo boxes and then I have this stool which is where I place the loading pin and when it's time to actually do the belt squat that is where I remove the weight from in order to start the movement. I see a lot of people trying to belt squat from the ground up and that's just too difficult. I think it's a lot easier to start from a standing position. One of the main reasons I like the belt squat is because there's no compression on the spine. I'm really reluctant to stack anything on my shoulders. So this is extremely helpful as it provides some traction. And unlike some belt squats that are sold, there's no shear on the knees. I'm not being pulled forward. The weight is straight up and straight down as I'm doing the movement. Here is my warm up set on the belt squat. It's about 110 pounds. I have three 35s and then two two and a halfs between each 35 just to make it easier to get the 35 pound plates off of the loading pin. If I wanted a more narrow stance, I would have used 25 pound plates. And if I wanted a wider stance, I would have used 45 pound plates. I haven't really figured out a good way to add bands to this movement. I have a couple of ideas and I'm going to work with a little bit more before I put it on video. So I'm using the 12 inch box and for me, it's the perfect depth. I was using a cinder block and a couple of stall mats stacked on top of that, but this just feels safer and more secure. So I'm definitely glad that I switched the cinder block out and added a plyo box in. Here's my second warm up set at about 200 pounds. I want to talk a little bit more about the boxes. They come in four inches. 6 inches, 8 inches, 12 inches, and 16 inches. At the time of this recording, only the 8 inch and the 12 inch box is in stock. For the 12 inch box, it only weighs 26 and a half pounds and it has handles on the sides so it's easy to move around. There is a 400 pound weight capacity for the plyo boxes. The length and the width is 22 inches by 22 inches. And I got these on sale for $69 originally they are $99. They're brand new on Titan, Titan Fitness's webpage and one of the reasons I really like them is because they're stackable. If I wanted to increase the depth of my squat I would just take these stall mats, stack them there, And now my squat is now three-fourths of an inch deeper. Here is my top set for the belt squat. It's right at 250 pounds. The movement felt good and secure. I didn't feel like the box was going to tip on me or anything like that. Additionally, I didn't have any knee pain, no lower back pain. The movement feels extremely effective for quad development, glute and hamstring development. A little bit more about the boxes. On the top of them, there's an anti-slip laminate. The box material is plywood, and there is a one-year warranty on the boxes. I was strongly considering purchasing a standalone belt squat. I was looking at Titan's model, but it's out of stock. I was looking at the Bells of Steel model, but they're just so expensive, and I do feel like this is a good replacement for one of those. The only limitation is how much weight you can put on the loading pin. Aside from that, it's a very effective movement. 
Here are a couple of additional uses for the plyo boxes. Here I am doing step ups. It feels real secure. One box is not going to come off of the next. There is a ledge going all the way around the top of each box so one fits securely like a puzzle piece onto the next one. I won't be using these plyo boxes for box jumps because I like the skin on my shins too much but they work real good for these step ups. Next up I want to show you how easy it is to move one off of the next. And then I want to show you how secure it is when one is stacked on top of the next. Here I am trying real hard to get one to come off, but it won't because it's secure. Next, a single plyo box works real good for a box squat. If the depth is too low for your squat, just add a stall mat or two to decrease the depth of your squat. It's real stable, and this would fit good inside of a squat rack if you wanted to do box squats. Next, I have the plyo boxes positioned for seal rows. I do have a stall mat on top of each plyo box just to help me increase the range of motion of the movement. Here's a different view of my seal row setup. I know that Rogue recently came out with their seal row bench for $1,150, and I can't see spending that type of money on a piece of equipment when this setup is a viable option. I hope you find as much utility in these plyo boxes as I do. Obviously they can be used for a variety of things. They're stackable, which is phenomenal when it comes to space saving. And I think they're going to take the place of the belt squat that I was thinking about getting. If I got the belt squat, I would have to sell probably at least one of the pieces of equipment in here, or I would have to move things around and it would be overly crowded. But because now that I have these new plyo boxes and I'm not box squatting off of cinder blocks, I think I'm going to pass on the belt squat, at least for now, and just stick to these plyo boxes for my belt squats. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Thanks, everyone.